Yo, what's going on guys? It's Cliffy here. We're back for episode number four of our Phoenix career mode. Now, last time around, we did lose points for the first time in the season. Not ideal. We now go, uh, we travel actually, sorry, to Amy Park to play Melbourne City. Just having a quick look at the league table. So still in seven games, we haven't conceded three goals. And uh, Melbourne City are slowly climbing off the bottom there. Central Coast still without a win. So that is pretty realistic, it must be said. I still can't get over the fact that the... Uh, that Kakachi was having a whinge last game that he was not on the bench because of how well we've been playing when he has, he had a red card. I mean, come on, Libby. What are you doing, man? That is just absolutely funny. He is back in the lineup, it must be said, for this game here. We'll be looking to bounce back after dropping points against Sydney last time around, and that is exactly what we've done thanks to a double from none other than David Ball, who's been hanging out on that right wing for quite some time now and doing a hell of a job, it must be said. Um, now, I did simulate through the uh, international window just because I wanted to go and get that done. Um, Davi Lars quality performance, you're not wrong. He has been absolutely quality for us, both in this game uh, and in real life. He has been an absolute standout for us this season. We're going to just keep training up these guys. I have actually gone and put some youth scouts out because one of the objectives um, from the board was to, I believe, get a player, raise his overall up five, and then get him in the starting lineup or the subs for five games or something like that. So um, we'll be looking to go and try and do that soon. We are uh, coming up soon as well to the January transfer window. So if there's any players you guys think that I should sign or any improvements I could potentially make on the squad, do let me know down below in the comments and I will try my best to go and sign that player. Um, but now we travel back to Sky Stadium in Wellington to take on the fifth place Brisbane Roar. And I guess just like in the A-League this season, there is a real divide um, amongst the teams. So basically you've got first, second, and third, which is Sydney, Melbourne City, and the Phoenix. Pretty close to everyone. Then Perth Glory is actually quite close to the Phoenix, I think, in fourth. Um, and then there's a bit of a drop-off, but um, West United aren't that low. The Jets are down further, but they've had a bit of a re uh, renaissance with their new coach that they do have in. So um, enough chit-chat. Let's go and get into this game at Sky Stadium against the Raw, who are coming off uh, a loss against Western Sydney. But fingers crossed we can go and do it. I think Luke Devere will be back after this game too. And we're going to need him because now Stephen Taylor's gone and got himself sent off. Kakachi, who's back, he's actually bagged himself a double. And uh, Davi La just keeps banging in goals left, right and centre. He's got another double as well. So 4-1. Struggling to keep those clean sheets, which is a little bit of a concern. But we are scoring enough goals um, that it's not too much of an issue. So just going to quickly go into here. Um, as you can see... I don't actually have the Youth Academy going at the moment, but we'll get that going soon. That was one of the objectives. I think everything else we're kind of meeting. Um, yeah, so grow one youth player by at least five overall points. As soon as they've grown, play them in five matches, either as part of the starting 11 or coming on as a sub. So I probably will have to play them because they won't get subbed on, but that's all right. Brand exposure. Um, we're doing that. It's very low priority anyway. Nothing on con uh, Continental because I don't think we can do that. Obviously, reach the playoff final. We're currently in first. Um, and the finances we're doing pretty good. Uh, pretty good. We're one point seven, if my mass is correct, um, above. And that's probably the most important thing for the club at the moment. We'll just have a quick look at these notifications here. Um, right, we'll keep you happy. Your recent the recent chances you can be in the team. I'm proud of you, Rufa. Well done. We're just keeping this going here. Um, so Stephen Taylor has God between the bands and the injuries, and I really hope Luke Devere's back. Oh yes, very good. Right, we'll put him on. Jesus makes Davila a captain. I honestly don't know who else would be the captain here. To be fair, Rufa if he played. Might give him a, you know what, let's give Macau a run as well. And if Rufa come and Josh Soterio as well, we'll rest Hooper, chuck Ball up top. Just to change things around a little bit. So Stephen Taylor will be back next game. He is, however, suspended 
for the time being. As I said, between suspensions and injuries, um, it hasn't been great so far um, for the Knicks, but we're just going to keep going. I, I feel as though we're doing a fairly decent job. Um, we are currently scouting uh, out in, I think, Asia, in the J League, and then... I think we have the youth scouts in both Australia and New Zealand to try and keep, uh, you know, that local homegrown talent in the Knicks lineup. So I'm going to see if I can skip this because I want to do... Oh, there we go. Callum Cowart feels his time is up. That is definitely not the case, and that's why we're going to give you a game here today, son. Simulate all of these. Beautiful. Again. He's moving towards 66 overall, so he's not far. It's just been the form really more of uh, Piscopo that has been so good that hasn't really allowed us to uh, give him an opportunity. So um, coming up against Perth in the, I think this is the third and final match of the episode, if uh, if things are correct. Oh, captaincy suggestions, here we go. I've noticed, uh, Perth Glory, your choice of lacking a leadership trait. But the thing is, we can't use Stephen Taylor because he's been suspended. <sighs> right, is there anyone in here that actually has the leadership trait? Is there a way to see that? Traits and celebrations. Flair, team player, speed dribbler, dives into tackles, long passer, technical dribbler, long throw-in, Hudson Weehongi, Devere, Payne. Oh, we could make Payne the captain. Let's do that, eh? Um, Rolls, captain, Tim Payne. Yes, there we go, just while Stephen Taylor's out, because he does have the leadership trait. I don't know what difference that makes, but uh, we will, I suppose, find out. So thank you very much for that, Assistant Manager. Um, the press conference is something that I don't really think that we need to do. And uh, two draws for Perth recently. Heading over for the distance derby, and we get the win, and Kakachi with another double. This man is an absolute freak. Um... For a left back, I really think we're going to struggle to hold on to him, to be fair. I think he's going to get a big offer uh, coming his way very shortly. And uh, speaking of... Oh, Messi got player of the year. How good. How good. Suspension's over for Steven Taylor. So we'll bring him back into the team. I must say, Hudson Weehong, he's been doing, a, he's been doing an awesome job um, filling in when required. We'll move uh, Steven Taylor back to the captaincy. You know, we'll just keep everything like that for now, I think. Um, just to try and boost McCowett and... Um, who's my right right midfielder? Soterio, Josh Soterio. Uh, keep them both happy. Central Coast, again, I feel like we just played these guys just the other day. Um, but let's give... Oh, I wonder if Rufa has the... Uh, does Rufa have the leadership? Oh, he does have the leadership trait. We could have used him, actually, in the last game. Um, let's put him in for there. Gary Hooper will keep on the bench. Hudson Weehonger, you can stay there, son. And all the rest are pretty good. Ben Wayne shouldn't be too upset. He is content. I mean, he's not getting a whole lot of game time, but um, he is quite low down on the pecking order. He, he probably would have been one that it would have been nice to potentially send out on loan. Um, but before we do go and play the Central Coast Mariners, I have just uh, realised that we have done our three games for the episode. So we're going to wrap things up there. We'll come back to you uh, straight away with that game against the Central Coast in the next episode. Do hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. If you have, remember to give it a thumbs up, uh, leave a like, drop a comment down below. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you very, very soon.